Hello community, today we want to increase the AI coding performance at least 100%. We call it S star. So let's have a look. You know, you have your local compute, I don't know, you have a GPU, let's say 16 gigabyte of VRAM, and you want to use here this typical code LLM so that help you to code, and you want to do it locally on your machine. Imagine you would have here a QN coder that has a normal performance here of about 20%. And you want to say, hey, can I at least double here my performance? And yeah, if we have here a particular S star methodology, you can right jump up here to the normal performance here of a coder of a 14 billion free trainable parameter. So from a 3B to a 14B model, and you have almost the same performance. And this, this is really something because if you are, if you are limited here on your local compute, this is the way to get a better performance without going to the cloud. So what we do, we run here code 3B model with S star, and we have a performance of a code 14B model. Now, how do we achieve this? This is easy. You remember we have test time scaling, TTS, and now we apply it for code generation. And you remember, we already opened the video now and we have here a star and this is the first hybrid test time scaling framework to improve the accuracy of AI generated code. But you know, the principle are identical to what we had in mathematical reasoning. Because remember test time scaling, it was extensively and we discussed in multiple videos here to improve here the causal reasoning, the mathematical reasoning. And we had more or less three ideas now that we implemented. The parallel sampling that decreases here the solution coverage, the sequential refinement that improves here the individual sample to the resyncing and revising. And my last focal point was here reward models that guide here the search process and the search space much more efficiently. Talking about one of my last models, we have here three insane TTS models that I showed you here, even with a new transformer architecture to have this for a language model. In this video, we discussed it here on vision language model. So anything in robotic or anything that you have with this computer use, where you simply have, or the AI has to understand your computer screen and click on what button. This here, we have a look at the latest reward vision language model, and it was called ARMUP. And in detail here, 48 minutes, I explain here everything about this methodology. And now comes the step. Now we move to the third area. And this third area is code. So what is here our spark of genius now? This is easy. This is here publication from UC Berkeley. A great team, beautiful idea. February 20th, 2025 published here. And they tell us here, SDAR test time scaling now for code generation, AI code generation. And they tell us here, this extends here the existing parallel scaling paradigm with a sequential scaling to push you the performance boundaries of AI code generation. So finally, we have test time scaling also for our code optimization. Now here you have not a complete visualization of the performing gain that you can achieve. You see the higher you go and when we have models that are already inherent with the reasoning model, like an O1 mini, the gains are not that massive, but you see, for the QN coder, we had an 80% standard performance, and then we got more than double the performance. Now, if you really go to this rather huge, unfortunately, proprietary models like O1 and O3, you see there the increase is not 25%, but at least around 10%, which is also impressive for a model that has a, such a high performance. So you can apply this here for the non-classical reasoning model, for the normal models that we have, then for the R1 reasoning model, for the QWQ32B preview reasoning model, for the O1 and O3 reasoning models, and whatever. So this is a methodology you can apply, and this is just great. So let's come to the core idea. And the core idea is simple. If you remember what we have done for the language model and for the vision language model for all the robotics, now guess what? We do more or less the same. We have a two-stage, a two-phase approach. In stage number one, what we do, we have here yeah, a problem description. Let's have a look at this. So give them a positive integer number. 
represented as a string, return the integer number without trailing zeros as a string. So if you have to input this and we have here some trailing zeros, just get rid of the trailing zeros and we have the output and we have here some public tests that you see beautiful. And now what S star does in stage one or phase one is just generates here parallel samples. So S star enhances here the parallel samples to an iterative debugging. Beautiful. So this is the beauty with code with a debugger. We immediately see where's the mistake. Each sample is tested using here public test cases executed via an interpreter with outputs and or the error messages used here to guide the next round of the sample generation. So couldn't be easier with iterative debugging going here multiple rounds. You define the max round that you want to invest your time budget on. Great. And then stage two, phase two, simple. S star selects the best sample by prompting an LLM to generate inputs that differentiate a little bit between the paired samples and then leveraging the actual execution result to inform the LLM to determine the optimal choice. You see, this is in code so easy because iterative debugging, then we have our interpreter and we immediately know, hey, is it working? Yes or no. Do we achieve what we set out to do? Yes or no. Couldn't be easier. No? I'll give you the complete code here in a minute. It's ready for you. You can do it immediately. Yeah, let's talk about the facts. Facts is here and I have here from the start. I just want to show you three benchmark data. You have a Q and two, a 7B instruct, plus here this new S star code improvement. This 7B now outperforms a 32B instruct model on live code bench by quite an interesting amount. Or if you go with a GPT-4 Omni Mini and S star, this sort of passes here the O1 preview. Never mind O1 preview. Nobody uses this anymore. But also, if you have open reasoning model to achieve performance competitive to state of the art proprietary closed models, I have showed you DeepSeq R1 distilled to Q132B with S star comes close here to state of the art, the OpenAI O1 high model. So you see, the achievements are there and they're really impressive. And especially if you want to act locally or even if you're in the cloud, hey, if you get a 10 to 20% boost in your actual, in your accuracy performance for your code generation, this is something you should use. So this is it more or less. Let's have a look at the end. Just want to show you here some beautiful ablation studies here. And they looked, hey, if I look here, never mind whatever model it is, but if I just have here the S-Store generation and then the selection, what, what is the most important action here? No, I told you this is a two-stage process. So from the first one, you see we got a 6.7% improvement, and the second is 13. You see, interesting. The second one is so much more interesting. No? And here, our one is still 14B. We have a plus 3% and plus 16%. So you see, this second one is really interesting. So this adaptive input synthesis is what you could call the, the core, the performance core of S star. What does it mean in detail? Now for each pair of samples here, an LLM is prompted to generate here distinguishing test inputs. And these are inputs that are of course executed, we are in Python here, where the outputs are further provided to ground to LLM to select here the best samples. So it's rather easy, you know, this adaptive execution grounded approach with the code ensures here really a robust identification of the correct solution. So you see, this is interestingly here for code, a really important step. Yeah, as I told you, we do have a GitHub page, Nova Sky, Sky Sword, beautiful. Remember, this is the same team from UC Berkeley that give us here this specific Sky T1. This was similar here to the O1 model, to the O1 preview model. Here you have the GitHub IO, beautiful. And as you see, I'm really early because just one hour ago, Sky Sword, they updated here the code for the S star approach. So you have everything available here. If you go there and you saw, okay, what is Nova Sky or Sky Sword or whatever, different teams from UC Berkeley, I'll show you them in a minute. Here you have here the beautiful re-release as star. So February 21st, 2025. Code, paper, simple, extended with test time scaling framework for code generation. It really works with quite a lot of model. I would surprise if you find a model where it's not working at all. Your Python notebook, 
Jupyter Notebook, everything is there. For the team, I don't know if you know this, UC Berkeley, this cloud computing lab, real nice. <laughs> you have the older people. This is just the, the first third of them. So you have the faculty, the core faculty, the professors and associated professors here. And faculty and then, yes, beautiful. You could scroll down two, three times to see all the students and whatever. So amazing team, great code. This is here if you have a look back. Where is it? Apache 2 license. So it is for you. Why not use this? I just recommend if you use this because go and upgrade your local code, LLM, or maybe even then in short time, some code vision language model to have a more physical understanding of the physical surrounding of a robotic system. But this would be the contents of our next video. If you like this kind of videos, hey, why not subscribe? And I see you in my next video.